In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the Over-the-Counter Hearing Aid Act. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and Founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Almost exactly two years ago, President Donald Trump signed into law the FDA Reauthorization Act of 2017, which we commonly think of as the Over-the-Counter Hearing Aid Act. This law will require the FDA to create and regulate a new category of over-the-counter hearing aids that are designed to treat perceived mild to moderate hearing loss, and they'll have to do this within three years. Following a 180-day comment period after the initial release of these guidelines, we expect this law to take effect at some point in 2020, giving consumers with hearing loss an additional option to treat their hearing loss. But what does this mean for an individual with hearing loss? Well, I'm going to go over the seven things that I think that you need to know about the Over-the-Counter Hearing Aid Act. Number one, it will provide increased access to hearing aids. Without the requirement to have a hearing evaluation, you'll be able to purchase devices online or in stores like Walmart, Target, and CVS. So if you live in an area where you don't have access to a hearing healthcare provider or you can't afford professional services, you'll now have an easier time of acquiring hearing aids that you can use to self-treat your hearing loss. Number two, it will eventually lead to the creation of self-fitting hearing aid technology by consumer electronics companies. I say eventually because I think it's gonna take quite some time for companies like Bose, Samsung, or Apple to create products that are really viable in the hearing aid space. Now I know that Bose already has de novo status to market their hearing aid devices, but those devices have not been released yet and we really don't know what they're gonna be like. If we're lucky, we'll see existing hearing aid companies creating over-the-counter hearing aid devices because they will be light years ahead of where consumer electronics companies will be once these guidelines are released. Number three, it could lead to the possible regulation of the wildly unregulated direct-to-consumer hearing aid marketplace. Now I say possible regulation because the FDA does a horrible job of regulating the direct-to-consumer marketplace right now. In fact, there are companies out there that are already making claims that they have the first FDA-approved over-the-counter hearing aid, which is impossible because the FDA has already issued a letter to all of these hearing aid manufacturers warning them not to market their products as over-the-counter hearing aids because until the guidelines are established, there is no such thing as an over-the-counter hearing aid. Myself and hundreds of other consumer advocates reported some of these companies to the FDA who were marketing their devices as the first FDA-approved over-the-counter hearing aids. Eventually, the FDA issued a response stating that they are aware that some companies are marketing products with claims that they are over-the-counter hearing aids and referenced the letter that they sent to manufacturers not to market using these claims, basically saying that they know that they're in violation, but they're not going to do anything about it. If the FDA decides not to actually enforce their own guidelines, the Over-the-Counter Hearing Aid Act is going to be pointless because you're not going to know which devices are legitimate over-the-counter hearing aids and which ones are there made by companies just trying to rip you off. However, if the FDA actually does decide to enforce their guidelines, that is the best case scenario because it will make the direct-to-consumer hearing aid market significantly safer for consumers. Number four, it could put you at risk of improperly treating your hearing loss. Over-the-counter hearing aids will be intended to treat perceived mild to moderate hearing loss, which is kind of crazy because I have patients who come into my clinic every week who have a severe to profound hearing loss, and they swear up and down that they don't have a hearing loss. This is because it is nearly impossible for you to know how severe your hearing loss is based on perception alone. Now, if you believe that you have a moderate to mild hearing loss, and then you go and try one of these over-the-counter hearing aids, and your hearing loss is actually a severe hearing loss, you're not going to be getting any benefit from these devices, which might lead you to believe that hearing aids just won't work for you, which couldn't be further from the truth. There are also a number of different hearing losses like unilateral hearing losses, sudden hearing losses, and conductive hearing losses that if left undetected because you are not having a hearing evaluation could cause serious health implications beyond just not being able to hear. Number five, over-the-counter hearing aids will likely not drive down the cost of traditional hearing aid treatment. Now, despite what all the media outlets are saying, consumer electronics companies are not getting into the over-the-counter hearing aid space to save you money. They are getting in it to make money. That being said, I do expect their products to be significantly cheaper than what you can get inside of a hearing aid clinic. 
Besides, the cost of traditional hearing aid treatment not only includes the cost of the technology, it also includes the cost of the professional services required to maximize and maintain optimal performance with whatever devices you have. So while you will be able to save money with over-the-counter hearing aids, don't expect it to have a direct impact on the existing hearing aid industry. Number six, there is no guarantee that your over-the-counter hearing aids will actually be programmed correctly. I believe the biggest drawback of over-the-counter hearing aids is your inability to verify on your own if your hearing aids are programmed correctly. Most individuals with hearing loss significantly underestimate the amount of amplification that's required for them to hear their best, which is exactly why verification of hearing aids using real ear measurement is so critical to your performance. Now, if you don't know what real ear measurements are, I highly recommend that you watch my video that I will go ahead and link in the description. And number seven, it will likely lead to the demise of bad hearing care providers. Now, don't get me wrong. There are hearing care providers out there that are worth every penny of what you pay them to make sure that you are receiving the maximum amount of benefit with your hearing treatment. But there will inevitably be bad hearing care providers who are forced out of the industry because they are providing you with no additional value beyond what you could get with over-the-counter hearing aids alone. I like to say that the number one variable of success with hearing treatment is not the hearing devices alone, but it is your hearing care provider's willingness to follow best practices like realer measurement that I mentioned before. Now, I receive dozens of emails and phone calls every week asking where the heck can I find a hearing care provider who follows best practices? And this is exactly why I'm starting the Dr. Cliff Approved Provider Network. In October of 2019, I will be starting a provider network of individuals who I have personally vetted to be following best practices. This way you can be 100% confident that the provider you're going to actually has your best interests in mind. So if you end up trying over-the-counter hearing aids and they end up not working for you, don't just give up hearing treatment. Check out my website, drcliffaud.com, find a provider near you and go and get your hearing tested and find out what your best treatment options are. All right, guys, it's about time for me to wrap up this video. And I just want to say that I am 100% in support of the over-the-counter hearing aid act because I think of over-the-counter hearing aids kind of like reading glasses. If you're having a little bit of difficulty seeing fine print, you can just go to the grocery store and get yourself a set of reading glasses without having to have a vision exam and without having to have a prescription made. And if the day comes that those readers are no longer effective for you, you can always go in and see your optometrist to get an actual prescription for your next set of glasses. The simple fact is, you may not need, want, or be able to afford the ideal hearing treatment, and I completely understand that. I just want to make sure that you educate yourself so when these over-the-counter hearing aids start hitting the market, you can make an informed decision on which treatment option is right for you. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it, and if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.